Well, hey there, it's Catherine. Today I'm kicking off a blog hop to celebrate the release of the Stamp of Approval Friendship Collection. If you hop along all the blogs on the all along the way, um, all the design team members have awesome projects ready for you using supplies in this box. Ordering. Mm, I've been having some questions about that. <laughs> I'm excited to say that ordering is going to finally open on Thursday morning. And the way it's going to work, you know I'm running a wait list, so people subscribe to the wait list to let me know that they're interested in the box. And then the response has been amazing for that. Way, way, way more people have signed up for the wait list than I expected. So, and with that being said, this is a beta test. The so supplies are limited. I really didn't know what to expect on this. It's a brand new idea. So, you know, I ordered what I thought I would need and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But I made the decision to open ordering just a smidge early for Stamp Nation members who are on the wait list. I figured, you know, membership gets perks sometimes and if it wasn't for Stamp Nation and the members there, this wouldn't be my job and there would be no box. So I'm going to open order, open ordering for the, um, them, Stamp Nation members who are on the wait list, look for an email at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning. One hour later, the email will go out to the remaining people on the wait list and that's that. Supplies are limited, it's while supplies last, and when it sells out, you'll get a page that says, uh, look for the holiday box. So in October, that will be coming out. We've already worked on the designs and we're totally getting ready for that and I will be sure to order more. <laughs> so let's take a peek inside um, the box and let me back up for a second tell you a little bit about um, the supplies that I'm going to be using today. When I went to Denver in the spring to film my class for Craftsy, I met with Michelle from Casual Fridays and we talked a lot about this box concept and we talked about the members at Stamp Nation and the community there and the next morning Morning, she sent me an email she went home and she got inspired and she made a stamp set for us awesome <laughs> so let me give you a peek at that it's called girlfriend and it has these amazing sentiments in it that I have been so excited to stamp with and I'm going to be sending cards to friends um, that I want to tell them that I love them I love this little stamp set and then this little flower here she said was inspired by, by my logo so that was awesome and then while I was still in Denver, I posted a picture of some wallpaper that I loved um, on Facebook. And the Stamp Nation Dream Team, they were all commenting on my Facebook post saying, that needs to be a stamp. And I was like, that's exactly what I was thinking. And I guess Michelle saw my Facebook post because the next morning she said, Catherine, I saw your post and I think it needed to be a stamp. And guess what? Here it is. <laughs> and if you look really closely at the Casual Fridays logo, here's a bigger picture of it, you'll see it's the same image on her logo that was on this wallpaper. It was a match made in heaven. So I was really excited about this. I printed this picture out and it sat on my desk for about a month and every time I walked by it, I was drooling. I could not wait to stamp with it. I wanted to emboss it and do some watercolor with it. So that's what I'm gonna do for you in this video. All right, let's get stamping. So here is my first card and I did it rainbow obviously and I'm going to do it again to show you but I'm not going to do rainbow. I want to do like pinks, blue, purples. I may have gone a little bit nuts with these colors but I wanted to, uh, I, well I don't know, I just couldn't turn any down. <laughs> I've already stamped this in white or actually I stamped it in Versamark and then I embossed it in white and then I'm just going to scribble color on top of the image using my zig markers. The embossing powder is resisting the ink. Now the hotel that I was staying in was called the Curtis Hotel. So when Michelle and I were talking about what to name the stamp, she first thought to name it after me. <laughs> so Catherine background. And then I kind of was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I think it should be named Curtis. So we changed it to Curtis background, but the first set of stamps that came out um, have the name Catherine on them. So if you get the box, it may say Catherine. You can call it Catherine or you can call it Curtis, whatever you feel like. <laughs> All right, now the fun part comes in. I'm gonna spray it 
And then that ink is going to move around. And this was the thing that I was excited about. Look at how the color is just resisting around. Like, look at that right there. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Ah, it's awesome. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to figure out what else I'm going to do with it. So here's how it turned out. I just cut it down. I was kind of trimmed some of the goodness off, but I tried to get spots that weren't maybe as fun and interesting as the rest. So that'll just be discarded. And then I have kind of a really fun kind of quote unquote blank canvas there to embellish on top of. So I'm just gonna do, you make me so happy. I'm doing white ink on black paper and then I have super fine embossing powder by WOW and I'm almost out. Yikes. <laughs> when you're doing really thin letters like this, you want to make sure you use a fine embossing powder or else they're going to get fat and smush into each other. So we'll just emboss this real quick and then assemble the card. So I added a little piece of dimensional adhesive on the edge so that it will pop up on the right and then, oops, I forgot to add <laughs> this adhesive right there. I hate covering any of this up though, so that's kind of killing me right now. Uh, and then I cut out love. I ha we have a love ya die in this set and I'm just doing the love. Love, you make me so happy. I love that. That's awesome. So there you go. Oh, I like how this card came out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Here is the first one I showed you and actually I misspoke at the beginning of the video. I said I did the same technique here, but I didn't. I, I um, sponged color on with Distress Ink and my ink blending tool and then I sprayed it a little bit with water. You can see some of the little watermarks here, but it definitely is sponged. And then this is the one that I did the watercolor background exactly like I did it here. So you can see three different cards at the same background. So much fun to play with. Be sure to hop along on this hop and comment on all the blogs because guess what? <laughs> I'm giving one of the boxes away for free. Someone's going to get a free box. Isn't that exciting? So if you've already purchased the box though and you win, I will refund your money. So no worries there. All right. Thanks for being here. I'll see you again soon.